Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to paint uh, kind of a water scene with a bunch of leaves over the front of it. Something kind of different new. There's my head, hello. Okay, and I'm just gonna paint, so hope you enjoy. I'm just putting a light coat of liquid white, which just makes the paint movable over the canvas. A little bit of blue now to make my sky. Start in the corners. the whole sky area. I'm just going straight across the bottom here. We wanted this to be a uh, kind of like a, a water in the bottom here. I don't know if it's going to be a lake or an ocean or whatever. All right, just going across here. All right, now we have a blue canvas. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is add some clouds to the mix. I'm just going to take fan brush and some white. Let's get it on the brush nice and thick. And let's see, just drop them in here. Let them live up here somewhere. Pretty simple to make clouds, you just kind of go randomly wherever. Okay, I'm gonna take my big brush, take out the bottoms just with the corner of the brush. You can see the corner. Okay, same with this side. Alexa, turn it down. I want some noise, some music to play, but I don't want it to be so low that they shut my video off. And gently lift the clouds up. And just slightly go across it. And it'll take out most of your brush marks so it doesn't look like it's painted and actually looks like real clouds living up here. I think that looks pretty good. Move straight across here. I'm just getting off some of my remnants of the paint. Just straight across here. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get this same fan brush and some more white. I'm just gonna continue, probably have the ocean or the water line going straight across here. Just kinda of gonna make little crisscross looking water waves out here. There, so it looks like the water's kind of moving around back here. In our horizon line, we want it to kind of be a little bit more faded back. Just really simple, Just throwing in colors here. There. So it just looks like there's kind of movement in the background there. I'm just going to take the same big two inch brush here and just going to kind of brush across this whole thing just to kind of fade the watercolor back into the canvas and get rid of any kind of brush strokes just so it has kind of a faint, faint look here where there's a horizon. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna take some dark blue. And my knife, I'm just gonna go across here. Yeah, something like that. Looks like a distant little piece of land or something there. that back in straight across there and we're done <laughs> just kidding we're not done we are not done at a o. Why don't you try something a little different with this one? So this is just kind of the background I'm making. And this might be really great or it might be really awful. I don't even know. I'm just kind of trying to make some. My friend Stacy sent me a picture that was kind of cool. And she thought, hey, that looks really like a nice picture. So I'm going to try to do it. So basically you have your background here, like a ocean or river scene or whatever. It's gonna be a whole bunch of branches and leaves and stuff over top of it. So it's like you're on land looking out into it. So yeah, we'll see what it looks like when we're done. Might look awesome, it might look good, and you might not even see this video if it sucks really bad. We'll see what it does. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I got some black. And I think I'm gonna use some burnt umber, which is kind of a lighter brown color. And I'm just putting this on my it right now okay so I just took some black and I spread it out and same with the brown I like to spread my colors out a little bit so I have stuff to kind of work on here and then I've got black and brown and I'm gonna mix the two here even so I got black and a brown 
and then you can put a little bit of white, get some lighter colors. So then you got a little bit of a variance of color. So there, I've got a few different shades of brown and blacks and darks kind of here to work with. As you can see, see what I'm doing there. Okay, and then to try not to waste paint, I just try to scrape as much of it off as I can on the palette because you can always use your brush and pick it up and stuff because paint's kind of expensive. You don't give the stuff away. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so now I've got that pellet going. I think I'm going to use a filbert brush, and I had one sitting here. Where did that go? Okay, here we go. Just a filbert brush. I'm going to put it in some, some clear here. Or it's a paint thinner, I'm sorry, not clear. Just to loosen the brussel, brussels up a little bit, or bristles, bristles, brussels, brussels sprouts. And then I just take a baby wipe and just kind of go through it and loosens it up a little bit because I haven't used this brush for a little while. All right, so, all right, this is what we call kind of, uh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do first before I do that? I'm just gonna take the same old two inch dirty brush, whatever. And I'm gonna get some of the little bit of the lighter brown color. Just gonna put a little bit of land down in here. Just to, to kind of look like there's like a little bit of a land base that we're starting with. And it doesn't matter if it mixes with the blue. I just want it to be darker in here. There we go, just something like that. I'm just gonna go across it. Yeah, here we go. Like I said, it's going to be, I've never done anything like this one before. It just looked pretty from the picture she sent me and she said this would look really cool. So yeah, it probably would look really cool. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can make it look similar to that or kind of like that or my version of it or whatever. Okay, so I've got my colors and I like to use my paint thinner is a little bit dirty, but it doesn't matter because I'm using dark colors anyway. And I'm just going to fill up my brush. And I'm just going to start somewhere here. Okay. Maybe back on this side, it comes up like this. Another one comes over like this. I'm just trying to make some trees that are coming off the... There, just... Yeah, it doesn't matter if it mixes with the color because that's what we kind of wanted. Our trees are wiggly today, they're dancing. They're dancing out in the sun. Okay. All right, maybe we have, yeah, one more that comes up like this, who cares? There, it's all sorts of different. across this way. These things grow however they want to. It doesn't matter. In fact, yeah, 
Okay. And why not have one more this way? There we go. I usually don't talk to myself when I'm making these things, but I usually have music jamming. <laughs> but because I'm trying to do a video, I thought, here we go. So, me talking to myself I might sound crazy, I don't know. Okay. Kind of liking how this is looking. Yeah, make it a big thick one. Okay. I think I'm liking that. So that's that's that with the filbert brush and I can always come back and just add a little bit more if you need to. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little script liner brush and some clear and the same color, it doesn't matter, I just want it nice and wet. And I'm going to make a bunch of branches off of this. So, the fun thing about this, they can go anywhere, it doesn't even matter, be all wiggly. Everybody knows branches and twigs and stuff go all sorts of different ways and everywhere. So, have some to go across. Just wherever you think these little branches should go, you can put them in. Just kind of filling up the canvas here. twisted forest of branches and twigs and things coming off of these I'm just trying to fill up the canvas for some places to put my little leaves and stuff on. I've never done anything like this one, but I thought it would look kind of cool. The picture looked really cool, so <laughs> that's <laughs> the idea is there anyway. And I've been on creeks and rivers and lakes before, and you come up to it and you look through branches, and it's really pretty to see the water in the background and have the looking through trees. So it's kind of a neat little idea. So, okay, I think we got enough of these things on here. Just kind of fork some of these off a little bit. Yeah, just like 
to like that. Okay. Okay, so I, I think that, oh, this one should be connected. There we go. Okay. You don't have to spend too much time worrying about these. Nature's never perfect either, so. Okay, good enough. Good enough for that, I believe. Okay, so. The next thing I want to do. If you look back, oh wow. <laughs> Looks like a nightmare. Oh, there's a couple more spots. This is that I'm really bad with. I'll look back. Sometimes if you take a look back at your picture from a little bit of a distance, you can see some spots that you might want to fill in a few more little little areas or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just painting is supposed to be fun. So let's have fun. Do whatever we want to do here. There. Okay. Be here all day doing these stupid branches. <laughs> Pretty easy to do. Okay. I like that enough. Okay, so you can see how my pellet got totally destroyed. <laughs> so I'm going to try to just take my knife. If that ever happens to you, just take a knife and clear a little spot where you want to put your other paint so I'm going to put some kind of oranges and yellows in here now and different things so I'm just going to clean this off a little bit put this up here somewhere because I need, might need some more black so after I put in some color into all this I'm probably going to go back over it in spots with some more of this black to make a few more little twigs and different things to make it kind of stick out a little bit more so all right and I just here put this on the ground There, makes a nice little texture of rocks cleaning off your brush. I mean, your knife. Yeah, something like that. There, just kind of make an indication of some ground. I probably want to try to scrape off some of this paint like this because I'm going to probably want to put some little grass or colors down in here afterwards too. So this dark kind of backgroundy stuff here makes a nice base for some nice color. So you can bring this into your, up into your trees here a little bit too. Just give it some more texture. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, something like that. Okay, clean that off a little bit. Okay, so for colors, I'm gonna use the orange color and some yellow ochre color. Let's see, this one is yellow ochre. What else do I got here? Indian yellow. Just some yellows and some different. And I think I have an orange somewhere too. Where is that hiding? I've got so much paint here. Oh yeah, a little bit of red. Why not? Let's make this look really, really unique. deep yellow. Basically any kind of yellows you can get or have or whatever you want to do. I just wanted a kind of a yellowy orange. As you can see my colors I've got some red, some yellow ochre, some Indian yellow and then some some kind of a yellow orange or some other color I got here. What was this? Whatever. Just a mixture of different yellows and oranges. So okay, my hands are already getting all dirty. It's nice. Okay, now what I want to do is a brush. I'm just going to get a ratty old, I've got this one inch brush, see how it's kind of an oval and it's all kind of bristly? That works perfect because you can just stamp on your colors 
where you think that the leaves should go. So I'm gonna do that first. So I'm just gonna start with just whatever colors. Maybe mix a little bit of white in with some of it to get some little difference. You can see the colors you're getting. And you can see on your palette when you push on it, so the leaves are gonna look something like that. So I'm just filling up with my brush with some color here, a little bit of that. And I'm gonna be, I'll show you my palette afterwards. It's gonna be a mess. So, oh, about a little bit right there. You just kind of follow where your branches are. And like I said, I'm just filling it up with some color right now, and then I'm going to do different colors over top and see what it all looks like in different spots. added a little bit of red to that orange just to give a little bit of color variances here in there red is really really powerful so you don't want to use a lot of it so I'm just kind of and I don't want to completely black out all the the lake in the background so I got to be really careful where so just try to follow where your branches kind of went you can see all the yellows kind of getting overpowered by the orange but when you mix the two together with a little bit of white Look at, check out this color. See that? It's just vibrant. Okay, I'm going to add a little yellow ochre to this color now. I'm just kind of trying to follow the branches a little bit here and there, get a little color mixture everywhere. brushing here like I got this piece of brush you just go right down at the corner and go right back over it so you can't even tell it was there there okay let's try the last yellow mix that in with this it's a little bit duller but let's go a little bit more of an orange color and just like I said follow your your branches where you put them just kind of where you think the brushes branches would be going with leaves on it see this is what my palette looks like now I just kind of destroyed it so I'm just gonna take my little script liner brush they call it clean it off get it kind of clear with some thinner I'm just going through my colors here I'm just what you do is you just kind of round it off till you get it to a point just keep going through it and you go through all your different colors and I'm just gonna go through here and just make like little C's like little and there should be enough paint on here too with the thinner, then you can just kind of make it look like little leaves and... Yeah, I can see what I'm... Give it a little bit more of a leaf look to it. 
a little bit of work, it takes some time, but. And again, try to follow your, your leaves. You can see I'm making like little C's everywhere, just little, and there should be enough paint on the canvas where you can just kind of take it and move it around. Just kind of breaks up some of the edges, makes it look a little leafier. You can see it's quite a bit of work, <laughs> but it kind of gives it a cool texture when it's all done. It looks like real leaves are kind of hanging out in here. And then with this other brush I use that's all smushed in, it just kind of kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic, I guess, is the word. I'm just basically moving the paint around and you can see it just gives a little extra textures and little little things in here make it look a little bit more a little bit more realistic On this side, we didn't use very much red, so I just want to you can see you can do this probably all day long. <laughs> And every once in a while, if you always want to step back from your painting and look at it, um, they say from like six feet, you can kind of get a good, good thing of a good view of what's going on. And if there's some spots you want to change, um, when you're kind of up close, you kind of don't really see everything. But and it gets tiring on your arm after a while. Like see on this side here, I've got a lot of orange color. It's the same and this has a, quite a good variant. So I'm just gonna go into my little bit lighter color here. And I'm just gonna start doing this and then you, you get a little bit different variants of color. That's the thing that you wanna do is have just a bunch of different variety because it makes it look a little bit more interesting. And there's also other brushes you can use than just this little script brush. This is pretty little to make it go a little faster, but I kind of like this brush. It's been working pretty good for stuff I've been painting lately, so. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some different color. Hope my volume is not too loud on my my Alexa here. That it cancels out everything I'm saying, but I don't know. It's nice to paint with music for me. He said, I'm just doing this for fun. It's not anything I'm trying to make money on. It's just for fun. Okay. Getting tired. Add a little bit more red to this, get some different color variances on this side. My arms started to get pretty sore doing this. My shoulders, because I've been swimming all week. Okay, so that's pretty much done. You can always mess around with it a lot. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take the same brush, put a little bit more clear on it, go through my dark color again. And just going to... A few more little, gives a little bit more of a three-dimensional look through some of this oh, the color. It gives little branches for these leaves to live on. So it's just thin down paint and blacks what I used 
just because it tucked and I twirl my my brush to a point. And if hopefully if everything goes well, it just kind of falls right off your you can have little wherever you want to put them. I'm just going over this so it looks like the brakes are kind of behind it. There's different things you can do to see if your trunk's kind of blending into this one. You want that one to look like it's behind it. Just kind of go over top of it. See? Then it looks like the tree behind it's right behind it. So this one's behind that one. So, you know, if it's a little bit too many leaves in there, you just kind of brush over it and do whatever you feel like with it. Whatever you want your trees to look, you just you can play all day with these things. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that kind of dry a little bit. I kind of messed that up. <laughs> And the way I fix that is I get my brush, this one again, put more colors in it. Try to get some, some more yellow, bright yellows and just kind of, I don't like something, I just tape over it or paint over it. There we go. And this is so 
supposed to go like this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take take some green. Find a little spot on my pellet here. There's a little spot. <laughs> wow, the pellet's getting messy. I never throw brushes away. You can see this ratty old brush here. I'll show you why. I run it through a little bit of green. And how about a little bit of yellow too? Let's make this. And what I could do is see how nice that makes that grass look just by scrunching it in here. Have it kind of going up the tree a little bit if we wanted to. simple just kind of pound it in there makes it look like little, little brushes little grass whatever Just kind of pounding it, pounding my brush in here, just and it kind of looks like some of the leaves have fallen too. So I think that that's probably done. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna to put a little path down here just to make it look like some somebody's walk. I'm just gonna get my blade, my knife, and do I have some white? Oh, here, I've got some white brown, that'll work. What I did is I just took some of this color here, it's blue and white mixed together, so it's kind of a light brown. There's a lot of paint on here now. So what I'm going to try to do is put a little bit on my knife. Let's see here. And just scribble like a little pathway. So it looks like somebody's walk. It's pretty, pretty light color there. So it's not the best color I wanted, but let's get that a little darker. There we go. Let's go back and forth and smuck it in here, or smudge it in. There, and it kind of looks like a little path walk, walkway by there. And to make it look like a real path, like it's not just somebody out in the nowhere land, I'm going to just go through this a little bit more. Maybe look. that and just to make it a little bit more interesting I'm going to do some 
little fence posts. <laughs> I've been doing these on my paintings kind of a little bit lately here. Like an old, like an, just a, using my knife and make them little and probably one more All right, going across here it's kind of a lot of paint on it but there and I'm going to take that that ratty brush that I had, just kind of clean it off a little bit, just kind of around where the post would be on the bottom. Bring some grass there. Okay, and then take my knife again. And just kind of let it go right off like there's another. Nah, it's, Put one more post on the end here. There. <laughs> it's, they're not even. <laughs> they're not even posts, that's for sure. Maybe it's an old rotten fence. But anyway, yeah. So we got some posts there, and then I'm just gonna take my knife, just kind of scrape a few little. things in the grass here so it just makes it look like some other trees and or branches or twigs or just to give it a little bit more something a little interest there okay I think that we can call that one done hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching